everyone, my name is Megan Brown and I'm an educator at the Bruce Museum and today I'm excited to bring to you our program Digital Bruce Beginnings, a program for children three to five years old and their caregivers. Today's program theme is all about another specific pollinator continuing our spring series. Today we'll be talking about bees. We will explore bees through some of the things we've discussed in earlier Bruce Beginnings, as well as in this one, read a book about bees, and then talk about some imaginative play and hands-on activities that'll get you and your adults playing, your mind stretched, as well as your imagination. I hope you enjoyed today's program. Let's get started. Just like in our last Digital Bruce Beginnings video, I'm introducing you guys to another pollinator before we wrap up talking about spring and moving on to other seasons. We learned a lot about different pollinators early on, and last week we specifically talked about butterflies. But in this video, we will be talking about bees. So what are bees? They are an insect with a hairy body, four wings, and sometimes a stinger. Some kind of bees live in social groups, and some live alone. Many bees drink nectar from flowers. However, there is more to bees than you might know. Typically, when you think about bees, you probably think about honeybees. However, there are also wild bees. Honeybees are insects that nest in colonies or large groups, and they can be really territorial. While wild bees, in contrast, are predominantly solitary with the exception of a few species of bumblebees. And fun fact, there are about 20,000 different species of bees in the world. However, both types of bees are so important to pollination. And bees are super important because they help pollinate flowers, fruits, vegetables, and so many other things you might eat and grow. So, some of the things they might pollinate that you eat include apples, cranberries, melons, broccolis, blueberries, cherries, and almonds. So many different things. So the way that bees help transfer pollen and help with pollination is by landing on flowers between the male and female parts of flowers. We've definitely discussed this in earlier Bruce Beginnings. So when they land on those flowers to eat the nectar, that allows them to collect pollen on their hairy bodies. And so when they move and fly to other flowers and plants, that's how they help transfer the pollen. And it goes between plant to plant, which allows the seeds and fruit to grow and helps with the pollination process. Now that we've discussed a little bit about bees, I thought it would be nice to get you and your adult to spend some time learning more about bees and bees that help pollinate your favorite foods or flowers. With the help of your adult, learn about other honeybees or wild bees. What do those bees help pollinate? Is it your favorite fruit or vegetable? And what bees help pollinate that food? Look for specific bees, because remember there are some bees that help with certain plants and fruits that we enjoy. Pause this video and discuss with your adult these questions. I'll see you back here in just a minute. Now that we've had some time to learn about bees as pollinators, I thought it would be nice to read about how bees work. So let's read a book called Bees, and it's Bees by Britta Technotrup. Dawn is breaking on a brand new day, and in the meadows, poppies sway. A bee appears striped black and gold. A wonder of nature is about to unfold. Can you guys find the bee? In the treetops, birds start to sing. The little bee beats her wings. As she travels here and there, a gentle humming fills the air. Can you find our bee still? Back 
back and forth, to and fro, B knows exactly where to go. Visiting flowers of every hue, she has a special job to do. Remember how we mentioned bees go back and forth, which helps pollinate the flowers? Looks like bee is doing that. Gathering nectar as she goes from every flock, love every rose, dusty with pollen, the little bee buzzes, buzzes busily. Bee travels on from bloom to bloom, drawn in by their sweet perfume. Harvesting flowers one by one, her compass is the midday sun. Among the orchard's apple trees, blossoms quiver in the breeze. Carrying pollen from place to place, bee always leaves a tiny trace. Look at that bee helping apples. Flowers as far as the eye can see, too many flowers for just one bee. All of a sudden, bee is gone. She has a message to pass on. Where do you think bee went? Back at the hive, bee spreads the news. There's work to be done. No time to lose. Listen for their gentle humming. The word is out. The bees are coming. Buzzing over the dense hedge rows, past the pond where wild thyme grows. Through the orchard's sweet smelling scent, the bees travel on with calm content. grow orange in the sun, the bee must finish what they've begun. Stepping at every flower they find, leaving the gift of pollen behind. The bees pass over woodland stream, droplets sparkles and pebbles gleam. Water trickles, bubbles and weaves, a weeping willow trails its leaves. Look at all those bees. As the bee flies on through buds and burrs, a tiny miracle occurs. So many plants and flowers you see were given life by one small bee. The end. Wow, what a fun book. Did you guys learn anything new about how bees help pollinate your favorite foods or plants? Or did you see any of your favorite foods or plants in the book? Pause this video to discuss with your adult any of the new things you've learned about bees and pollination. I'll see you back here in just a minute. Now that we've had some time to explore about how bees help pollinate plants, how about you and your adult try some activities that will get you outside and enjoying all the spring season has to offer. The first activity you can do is to pretend to pollinate a flower like a bee. Remember they fly and pick up the pollen on their furry hairs and fly and drop the pollen down. So try that out, play pretend. Another activity you can do is go outside and see if you can find bees. Whether they're honeybees, bumblebees, or wild bees, see if you can find them pollinating flowers in your backyard or local park. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for Digital Verse Beginnings. If you would like to share anything you've made after watching this video on social media with your adult's permission and help, and using the hashtag Bruce Museum, please share it to our social medias. For more digital content from the Bruce Museum, please visit www.brucemuseum.org. Bye friends.